Hello everyone, this is Mohamed Asif for you and uh, today I am here with a new tutorial on temperature sensor interfacing with MSP430 and 5529 from the TI controller. So let's begin with this project and uh, let, me give me, uh, let me give you a brief abstract about this project is, is using the MSP430 and 5529 microcontrollers and this internal temperature sensors which is based on channel 10 of EDC. So getting temperature samples of a specific interval from ADC, converting them into digital values and displaying them on any serial terminal using UART with a power rate of 1.5240 and a no parity bit and a one-stop bit. So let me give you a brief intro about the controller which we are going to use in this project. So by the Texas Instruments microcontroller, uh, it's just because it's very elegant, very fast and specifically used for uh, digital signal processing and such kind of projects, which is a very reliable low power controller that is being used in industry and uh, used for development purposes in universities and uh, in labs. So, the architecture combined with extensive low power models is optimized to achieve extended battery life and portable by human applications. The microcontroller features a powerful 16 bit RISC CPU, 16 bit register, and constant generators that contribute to maximum core efficiency. The digitally controlled oscillator allows the device to wake up from low power mode to active mode in 2.7 microseconds, which is really, really fast. And your controller will not consume any uh, kind of power from the battery uh, when it is in a low power mode. So, all the peripherals have been uh, uh, you know, labeled in this controller. You can later on check all of them. So, today I'm only focusing on channel 10 of ADC uh, of uh, MSB 435 F5529 controller specifically. That is the high level functional uh, design or diagram of that controller. And the red label uh, USCI port uh, has been labeled just because I'm going to use the serial port of that controller and ADC 12 bit. Uh, so, this is just a pin diagram of this controller. You can see that uh, we have USB 2.0. We have 16 bit timers, we have high performance 12 bit analog digital controller. We have two USCI, we have a hardware multiplied EMA and RTC, but we are not going to use in this project. So, we have um, around six low power modes um, and one active mode in this controller. Uh, and the battery uh, life can better guide you what does that mean actually. Uh, these are the basic or the default configuration of uh, the serial board which we are going to use. So, it has a Timer A clock and timer A capture frequency. And the SM clock is uh, the default clock which has 25 microphones frequency. Uh, then we have 12 bit ADC temperature sensor and a built in VMID. Uh, the temperature sensor is provided by the REF module. The REF module parametric IRF plus regarding the current consumption of the temperature sensor. The temperature sensor offset can be significant. TI recommends a single point calibration to minimize the offset error of the built in temperature sensor. So we have a temperature sensors of uh, the CPU uh, connected on channel 10 of ADC and we are going to uh, get the temperature of that uh, specific, uh, you know, it is providing us the values continuously. So we are going to get the values of uh, channel 10 uh, continuously, okay. So the controller is simply connected with the UART, uh, using the UART cable to, the, to your laptop and make sure that you have a Pro Composer Studio installed from uh, I have just this code on version 6 and version 10 respectively, and it is working uh, really well uh, uh, and fine. So, this is just a basic pseudo code of uh, the, uh, the program. So, first of all, you have to include the libraries which is necessary for this controller, and, and I'm going to show you uh, each and every step of that uh, uh, project. Then, you have to initialize global variables, uh, and then we have begin main, uh, in which we uh, used to follow some specific path steps like first of all we uh, stop the watch dog timer then we set up the uh, timer then you are uh, board pins and then we set up the adc uh, configuration uh, you know pins uh, adc configuration and then we read the value from adc channel 10 from the interrupt and then after getting interrupt uh, from uh, of a specific type and then we uh, send this value to pc and show it in the terminal the flow chart is also self-explanatory and totally resembles the pseudo of their control or project. So the working principle is first of all, uh, the, the project is very simple. Uh, first we initialize the UART, ADC and timer control registers. Timer A1 is used uh, uh, is used with a clock source of SM clock. The divider is in one uh, in continuous mode, the timer and a capture computer in the cycle of 50,000 cycles. Uh, the, then uh, we use the UART, USCA, USCI A1. Uh, interrupt service routine with the receive and transmit uh, buffer to receive and transmit data on port 4 pins um, 
um, four and uh, five is used with clock source of a supported baud rate of one of five two double zero bits per second. The watt interrupt is disabled and operated based on the diamond module. ADC 12A input temp, uh, temperature sensor is selected as a source for the ADC channel to get the data from an internal temperature which is converted into digital value. So this is just a sample output from uh, the Co-Composer Studio that the program is uh, successfully built and uh, running in a debug mode and you can see the output is shown in the COM4 port of OT terminal that we are getting 23.55 uh, degree centigrade temperature as an output. So let's get to the uh, program and I'll give you a demo. Um, I'll make it a little bit fast so if you have any other query after that video after this video so you can send me a message so I'll just uh, start with the libraries as you can see that string.h is for the characters and uh, initializing declaring the strings stdio tlib is a, a C standard library for input output and other functions driver lib is a TI uh, built-in uh, library for MSP 430 peripherals devices to call their uh, call the peripherals with the functions it provided and you do not need to uh, write instructions with the registers from the registers perspective and you do not need to remember the registers and architecture of any msp 430 device and then we have global begin where we initialize the global variables uh, the first one is the long temp uh, this is actually the uh, analog temperature value which we are getting from the adc and then we are assigning that temperature with the formula to index c which converts the integer uh, value from the ADC into a digital uh, value in uh, temperature degree centigrade and this is a volatile uh, variable why because it will be updating the index C uh, again and again in a while loop in a while or not uh, after uh, occurring an each interrupt or after occurring an each interrupt of ADC so after that we have a debug timeout this is used in the timer module and we will get to know what is that when we get there so we have a compare value which is 50,000 defined uh, globally and these are actually the 50,000 compare uh, cycles of the timer okay so 50,000 uh, cycles of the timer means that after uh, getting uh, reaching or getting 50,000 cycles the uh, timer ISR will occur and uh, the instructions are being written there which uh, what, it, what it will be doing we'll see later then we have those functions you are set up send character send string get character get word um, uh, initialized and uh, we write written for the UART and then we have a main function in the, here we have WDT a whole function which is provided by driver lib library it actually stops the voice talk timer which uh, the function of this is um, uh, to reset the controller when your program is stuck in an infinite while loop so we will be using an infinite while loop in order to get the temperature from your ADC continuously and displaying that temperature on your terminal so in that case, if we do not stop this voice of timer, it will just um, reset the controller and start the program again. So we are not uh, doing that. That's why we are uh, stopping the voice of timer. We are not using any GPIO. So we, are, we do not need to set up any uh, pins for anything else. Then we have a timer, timer module. The structure has been written in the driver lib library. Uh, the functionality is exactly the same as we do in uh, the register coding. So we are initially uh, um, you know cleaning the structure or resetting the structure of uh, in a timer a module uh, which is has, which has been initialized for the continuous mode then we are setting the clock source which is sm clock we are using source divider which is one so if we are using 1.048 megahertz sm clocks and it, if it uh, you know, cycles divided by frequencies divided by one so we will get uh, 1.048 mega cycles and the timer if you know that timer a is um, a 16 bit timer even though timer b is also a 16 bit timer which uh, actually stores 65535 cycles in uh, a single bit, a 16 bit value then we are turning off the interrupt enable so we are not using because we are not using any interrupt uh, uh, register we are not using an interrupt mode of that timer we are actually using the compare capture compare mode of that timer and, and interrupt will be initialized for that mode so first of all we are stopping the timer over here and then we are setting the configuration for unit continuous mode then we are uh, initializing clearing the capture compare interrupt and then we are initializing the structure for compare mode capture compare mode over here you can see that we have enabled the interrupt we have set up the register for the capture compare and then we are uh, set up the out mode uh, like how the um, a duty cycle will uh, perform like uh, it will be the set reset it would be toggle reset toggle set or reset set there are eight different models so you can mode so you can use um, different types of mode based on the requirements 
and we are basically a compare values which is 50,000 cycles to the compare value when our timer get to this value the interrupt will occur and it will call the timer interrupt at that time then we are starting the counter for the timer a1 and then we are setting up the uart so in uart setup we are actually initializing pa port 4 bit 4 and 5 which is used for receive and transmit of data between your uh, PC or laptop and the microcontroller and all the instructions are clearly written and well commented over here if you have any issue after that just let me know I'll explain these instructions and then we have ADC setup over here so we are actually initializing the ADC we are passing the sample hold source we are uh, initializing the clock source in which we are using ADC 12 oscillator and I think this is uh, a 5 megahertz clock source we are dividing that source by one so in our clock so we will have 5k or 5 megahertz i don't remember actually what's the clock source of that adc but you can double confirm that and i have already uh, written in the document and uh, the presentation as well i think you can double check that so we are using adc 12 enable over here and just to confirm make sure that adc is well enabled i am just uh, putting these instructions twice there's no problem you can remove that but this is for the double check because adc sometimes make uh, makes trouble with the um, trouble so we are just confirming that double check so there is a setup sampling timer or here we are uh, using the cycle hold 768 cycles and then uh, uh, cycle hold four cycles again and then we are um, using the multiple sample disable uh, flag over here as well to turn off the multiple sample so we, are we will be just getting a single sample uh, over that period of time then we are initializing the memory parameter for the ADC in which we are storing the analog value which is memory 0 from channel 10 of ADC uh, uh, over here which you can see that ADC 12 input temp sensor which is the input flag of that uh, ADC through which we, are, we will be getting data setting up the reference positive and reference negative voltages for your ADC is must before, without that um, your ADC will not work so we are initializing that as well over here and then we are calling this flag non uh, not uh, end of sequence uh, uh, flag over here and then we are uh, closing the configuration uh, of memory over here we are setting up the clear uh, we are clearing up the interrupt and then we are enabling the interrupt of adc12 and we are waiting over here to completely set up the configuration of adc uh, with this flag after uh, successfully executing these instructions we will be uh, assigning the reference voltage for adc to initialize the instruction to initialize the temperature coming from adc channel 10 to the memory location by enabling the reference voltage so after 75 uh, delay cycles we are waiting uh, over here why because we want to completely adjust completely latch the all the instructions of adc in configuration and so it would you know uh, works fine and then we are enabling all the global interrupts in the mic microcontroller controller these instructions actually trigger the uh, adc interrupt so whenever this instructions calls up it just starts getting the value from the uh, channel 10 of the ADC and then um, it start conversion from the uh, analog values to the digital values then we are calling this infinite while loop so our program will not end until we reset the controller or turn off it so in ADC ISR we are actually using that specific interrupt flag which is ADC 12 FG 0 over here we are getting value in memory 0 and we are just assigning those results to temp, temp and then we are putting that temp value in the formula to get the temperature in degrees centigrade and then we are calling that start conversion function again to get the sample from the channel and start conversion uh, into the digital uh, value so whenever we get the complete value of uh, in the memory it will start conversion again and come to this point and convert that value into the degree centigrade and these are all the uh, different interrupt flag for different channels of your adc so you will have you have actually 15 16 uh, channels for the, your 12-bit ADC. You can use like 60 different uh, analog devices connected to your controller at the same time. In the timer ISR, we are actually using console buffer of 100 size. It actually prints the value which you are getting from the ADC of temperature. Uh, you will, uh, you know, display the temperature message on the terminal in infinitely. After one or two seconds, by adjusting the time difference with the debug timeout, and then we are initializing that timeout with again uh, with the 250 value. And then we are again calling this function set compare value to uh, reset the CCR0 value and then starting up again uh, till 50,000 uh, cycles has been reached. And this has already been discussed before and these are the instruction, uh, different functions like you are sent character what it, what it does when you uh, call this function with the single character being sent to the 
terminal you uh, just uh, the while loop will just look for the uh, dx transmit interrupt flag of the uart if that transmit interrupt flag is empty there is no data in there so this while loop will in, uh, uh, instruction will get true or false and get to this instruction so whatever character you want to send that character is being assigned to you see a one transmit buffer and it will start sending the data and the variable like the temp and the your temperature value to the terminal after some interval of time then in the same uh, in the main, in the same manner you can send the compute string to the terminal you can get the character from the terminal and you will get the string or word from the terminal as well so these are the built-in very basic uh, instructions for sending and getting the characters and strings from the terminal and to the terminal that is it from my side for the whole program if you have any other queries after that just let me know